Negative advertising has become a big part of political campaigns, but usually the yard signs just say the name of the candidate along with something positive. That's not the case in Livonia. That's where someone is trying to influence the school board race by putting up signs aimed at other signs. Jacqueline Francis shows us what's going on in Livonia. It's political season and campaign signs are lining nearly every street corner, but one of these signs is getting more attention than the others. In the race for Livonia School Board, candidates are getting their names out there, only to find this sign planted next to their own. It's referring to last year's hot button issue of masking in schools. They were ordered by Matthew Wilk, the former school board president in Northville, who was removed from his position after making controversial comments about the pandemic in 2020. Since then, he's founded a political action committee, endorsing candidates across the state providing them with these signs, many of which he says have been stolen. You see yard signs all the time and all they have is the name and the, what they're running for. And on occasion, they'll have a word or two. This one tells, lets people know, this is where this particular person stands on this issue. But the incumbent candidates in Livonia say they never voted to implement masks, posting to their official campaign page, explaining the district followed state and county guidelines, never implementing a mandate of its own. In Livonia, some voters are turned off by the unusual signs. It used to be when I was younger, the candidates got on television or radio or whatever, and they said, this is what I can do for you, not look what she did, look what she did, and they just smear. And that's to me, that's not good politics. Another voter telling Local 4 she's not for masking, but not for these signs either. If the candidate wanted that in the past, then I don't think that they should put that sign up now and bring attention to it. In the state of Michigan, it's illegal to remove or deface a political yard sign, but there's nothing on the books about these types of signs we're talking about tonight. We also checked in at the local level. City officials in Livonia telling me that these appear to be fair game. Reporting live, I'm Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. All right. Thank you, Jacqueline.